Hey, 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 we're back for another live stream. Today we're doing some Justice League building. I'm gonna wait for a few people to hop into the chat so we can get officially started, but I'm super excited about this set. It's one of the few, the three from the Justice League movie, and this one is called The Battle of Atlantis and has Aquaman and some other really fun characters, and I'm super excited to be doing another live build with you guys. We've got Lego Gaming Night in the chat, Joe Scope 5, what's up? We've got AWM Lego Films, Ryan, Manuel, we've got lots of really fun people in the chat here. So, hey guys, welcome back to another live build. I'm super excited, definitely leave me your comments and questions. I'm here to answer everything as I go. A lot of people last time, when I was doing a live stream were saying, Michael, you're really slow at building sets. And it's because I'm too busy talking to you guys and having a really fun time. So we've got a lot of people here. We've got Darius and Javier. We've got so much fun people in the chat. So yeah, what up? Vision Bricks, Alexander, Typical Legendary, Jake, what's up? We've got lots of other people here. So we're gonna get started here in about a second, but let's get a couple questions. I love answering some questions. All right. Would you like normal Fantastic Beasts besides Lego Dimensions? Uh, that's from Joe Scope 5. Yeah, I would really love that. I think that the Harry Potter line was such a fun line, and I think it'd be really cool to get more Harry Potter Fantastic Beasts. I think it'd be just great. Um, all right, here we go. Brat Rat 101 says, what is your favorite Lego minifigure of all time? That's a really tough question for sure. Um, I'm always bad about picking favorites, so I'll pick a recent favorite. And one of my recent favorites has really been a ton of the ones from the Lego Batman movie. So I loved Poison Ivy. I really loved the Penguin, uh, the new version of the Joker. But obviously, that Harley Quinn, I think, takes the cake. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna start opening the box. We'll take our time, guys, don't worry. But I will say up top, once this set is done, I'll be done because I gotta make another video for you guys for tomorrow. So, um, unless you guys don't want any more videos, you know, we can stay on here forever. <laughs> um, let's see. Barry Allen said, should I get the Flying Fox to complete my collection or not? Um, that's a tough question because it wasn't my favorite set. Um, I haven't built it yet, but just the pictures, it definitely wasn't my favorite. But I do think that there's some cool elements. Like I really liked the Batmobile from that set. But if you had the Batmobile from the, you know, the first uh, Batman v Superman, maybe you don't need this one. So it's kind of a tough dilemma, but obviously it is the only way to get Cyborg. Um, which, you know, might be enough for you. So we've got a few things here. We've got the wings for the parademons, a nice little sticker sheet, and of course the instructions. And I'll probably keep this off to the side, but doing my best. <laughs> All right. Woody and Daffy Duck says, what is your favorite Lego game? And I think if you guys know me and you know this channel, then you know that my favorite game is of course, Lego Dimensions. Um, so Lego Dimensions was just so fun and it was really original. So I definitely just, I, I think it was just so much fun, and it's a shame that it doesn't look like we might be getting too much more from the game, but I still think it was just such a fun ride, and I love it, you know? All right, let's see. I'm just unboxing. I know I'm missing a few of your questions, so if I don't get to it, try to be polite and uh, let me know again. All right. Um, we've got a question here from uh, a fan who says, what is your favorite Lego Marvel fig? Um, I, you know, I remember when the original um, Iron Man figures came out, I thought that was such a cool figure, but I think my current new favorite is the new version of the Hulk from the uh, arena set, the battle arena set from Thor Ragnarok. That was just such a cool, such a cool one. I mean, I just loved it. Here, I'm gonna move the camera down, so hopefully nobody gets too, <laughs> um, you know, seasick, but this is a little bit um, better. <laughs> just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Ryan just started high school today. Well, I hope that's going well. All right, Kiefer's mentioning that I that I picked a big fig as my favorite figure, so I need to pick a mini figure. Um, I think that my favorite mini figure, just to be totally politically correct, um, my favorite Marvel mini figure right now might be Deadpool Duck. I honestly think that was such a funny one. Um, so that's probably my favorite right now. All right. Let me get, uh, I'm gonna take a tiny break from the questions just so I can get myself started here. Um, but we've got people f coming in from all over. Some people are in the airport waiting to board their planes. So thanks for sticking with me while you're uh, getting ready to go somewhere fun, hopefully.
All right, let's see. What other questions do we have in the chat? So Vision Bricks asks, what is your advice to me as a YouTuber? So I'm guessing the question is kind of about how to be successful on YouTube. And I'm not sure I'm the best person to answer that because I'd only say I'm mildly successful on YouTube. And I, of course, have you guys to thank. But um, I'm, of course, I'm building Aquaman here in case you were wondering. But um, I think that the best thing to remember is that you have to do what you love. If you don't love being a YouTuber and you don't love you know, building Lego or whatever you're doing, like obviously I do Lego and I love it, but if you don't love what you're doing, it's really, really hard to keep doing it because it's a lot of effort and you're gonna spend a ton of time. And so if it's not something that you love doing, you're not gonna stick with it. So I think you have to find the balance of making videos about things that you love and then making things that other people are interested in. You know, if, you, if you're the only person interested in, um, I can't even think of a good topic, then it'll be hard to attract an audience. So yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, we've got, what's your favorite set out of all the sets? Finley asks. I'm guessing you're asking particularly about the Justice League sets. Here, let's take a quick look at Aquaman. Oh, focus. <laughs> well, Aquaman looks pretty awesome, actually. The gold is really nice. You can see how kind of reflective it is. I'm really loving that one. But my favorite Justice League set from this movie, um, you know, it might be this one. I think it's kind of a fun set. $20 is, is a very fair price point. Um, the Nightcrawler is pretty neat, but it actually has a few less features than I kind of would have hoped for. But it doesn't mean it's a bad set, and it does come with the Flash minifigure, which is probably my favorite minifigure from the uh, Justice League sets. So it's a tough balance, but I think this is a nice little compact set. $20 seems pretty fair. Waffle Production says, I really, Waffle Lego Production says, I really want the Nightcrawler. Um, do you think there'll be more sets coming out along with Garmadon, Garmadon, Garmadon? I'm forgetting who just said that, so I apologize. But yes, we do know for a fact there are more um, sets coming out, and uh, they're going to be awesome. I did a little bit of a rumor video, so definitely check that out if you haven't. Um, so I definitely am super excited for the movie, and I think it's going to be amazing to see the second wave of sets. Because the Lego Batman movie sets, that second wave was just great. All right, let's see. Um, Evan's Cool Channel asks, who is your favorite Teen Titans character? Um, so, hmm, that's a tough question. I mean, I've always been a fan of Robin. I think, you know, he's obviously the leader and he's a, a fun character too. So I will probably say Robin just because he's got a lot of, um, you know, a lot of history and the Batman lore is a fun one. So I'll probably say Robin. Let's see. My, uh, Bat Boy Fan Plays asks, uh, do I want more Justice League sets too? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'm always up for more. You know, I think they can never give me enough figures, enough sets. So I'm always up for more. But if it's not going to be like um, a meaningful set from the movie, like a really good moment or a really cool vehicle that we haven't seen yet, then, you know, maybe they could save that set for another theme or another part of LEGO DC and give us a, something even better. So let's see. Starlord59 asks, what's my favorite Guardian of the Galaxy? Um, I really love Rocket. I think he's just super funny, especially in the movies. But um, I think I'll probably have to say that Starlord is my favorite just because, I don't know, he's just a cool dude and I'm a fan. So I'm building right now the Parademon. Like I said, when I'm building and I'm talking to you guys, I can't even tell you I'm so slow at building. It's almost ridiculous. But hopefully <laughs> you guys don't care. <laughs> All right, I'm just got to build his uh, weapon and put on his head, of course. And let's go ahead and snap that guy on. What do you guys, how do you guys feel about stud shooters? I think that we've seen a lot of them. Obviously, Star Wars is a notorious theme for including lots of stud shooters. And I think it's fun to have the play feature, but I don't know. I am always so worried about losing all the pieces. So <laughs> I don't know what, what you guys, how you guys feel. Let's see. Drew says, Chris... Pratt has a good portrayal of Star-Lord. I definitely agree. He's really funny, and I remember when he was cast, I was super surprised because I'm a huge fan of Parks and Recreation, and he seemed like a fun choice then, and he turned out to be just great. Manuel says, nobody uh, has liked... Oh, I missed that. Shoot. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't uh, seem to like the stud shooters, though, it seems. But it says, uh, stud shooters are great if you enjoy losing studs. Yeah, I think you're probably right about that. 
some people are saying they're good on vehicles. Vision Bricks likes the six stud stud shooters. So yeah, I mean, I like the six stud ones. Those are kind of fun. And they sort of seem appropriate in some of the sets. Joe Scope 5 asks, when did I start liking Lego? Well, I've been like a lifelong Lego fan. My mom can tell you, I still have some, Le believe it or not, I still have some Lego at my parents' house. That's how long I've liked Lego, and that's how much I've accumulated over the years. So, um, yeah, I've liked it for a really long time, and it's really been a, like a lifelong thing for me. And, you know, it's always... Um, you know, whether it's the Star Wars, I think was probably the, you know, the thing that got me super, super into Lego, especially to continue liking it as I got older. But I, I really love so much of it. I think superheroes is probably one of my favorites. So I really love the fact that I'm reviewing this set right here. All right. Some people are asking, oh, I just missed a good question. Uh, let's see. Um, we got another Marvel versus DC. <laughs> Um, who do I think will be the villain of Lego Movie 2? Yeah, we've heard some rumors about the new movie, and I don't know that we've heard anything about the villain, but we do know that one of our favorites, I'm not going to spoil too much in case you care, so uh, I, I, we, do, we do know one of our favorite characters is going to be kidnapped, and it's going to be up to our crew, the normal kind of team, to f save him, so... I'm really intrigued who's responsible for that. So yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't care says I should make a mock. Yeah. A lot of people in the last stream were saying definitely I should make my own kind of custom creations and that would be really fun, but it's so hard to find the time and, you know, sometimes you lack the inspiration, you know, like what would I make? I would love to do a big city, but I don't have room for it and I would love to do, you know, I don't know, like um I've always wanted to make an Avengers Tower mock after I saw that in Avenge in um Avengers uh Age of Ultron and such, so that would be really fun, but yeah, it's so hard to do. So we'll have to see about the future, but I definitely would love to do a mock sometime. So, let's see what we've got. How did my channel get its start? That's a good question. So I've always thought about making a YouTube channel and I was thinking a lot about, you know, like I said, you have to pick something that you care about and that you think you you have something to say about. And Lego certainly seemed like a good fit. <laughs> Typical Talk Bricks live stream, I always knock over minifigures. <laughs> so um, I always wanted to make a channel, like I said, and I wanted to make sure that I could do it about something that I cared about and something that I thought I had, an, uh, you know, people would want to listen to me about. And so Lego seemed like the perfect fit. And I, you know, ever since then, I kind of did a lot of planning. You know, I made the logo, I made the theme song. I don't know if you guys knew that. I actually composed that little ditty that plays at the front of all my videos. I made the animation, I made all that sort of stuff. So it took me a long time before I decided to actually start doing it. But, um, but yeah, I mean, then I did it and it's been so much fun and you guys really make it all worth it. I have so much fun. All right, Gabe Silva asks, what is your favorite Ninjago Ninja? Um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe think a little bit differently on this question about making it only for the Lego Ninjago movie. And I'm really excited about some of the ninja that we haven't seen too much of. Like, we haven't seen much of Cole. Like, he hasn't had a line in any of the trailers. So I'm really curious about him right now. Um, but I love um, Lloyd, of course, and Kai. But uh, this new version of Zayn seems pretty funny. Ms. Tammy uh, asks, "Talk bricks. What would what classic what would classic Batman sets would you want to be brought back?" Um, there was a few um, older sets that I missed, um, particularly not the first Arkham Asylum, but the second Arkham Asylum. And I'm like, I keep kicking myself that I never bought that one because that came during a time when I was collecting that I didn't have a ton of money. Uh, not that I have a ton of money today, but um, I really wanted that one, and so. Uh, that's one I always regret. So if they could bring back one, at least for me, it would be that second Arkham Asylum. That was a really fun direct-to-consumer set, and I really wanted that one. I don't know. Was there any DC sets that you guys missed that you would have really liked? Comic Boy asks, have you ever had a huge set destroyed? Uh, thankfully, no. Um, I've never knocked over a big set, even though I'm always worried about it. Like, I've got Metal Beard Sea Cow sitting up on a high shelf, and I'm just so nervous that one of these days I'm going to, you know, I don't know, be carrying something and trip and knock it over, and that would just be so hard to rebuild. <laughs> but no, luckily I've never had anything like that happen, but hopefully I never do. <laughs> 
We've got a lot of people who've said they've had some things knocked over here in the chat. Let's see. Power Gamer asks, what is your favorite Lego set in the whole world? Um, I think my favorite set, I talked about it in the last live stream, at least right now, is probably the Ghostbusters Firehouse HQ. I just think it's a really great set. It's super put together. It's super detailed. I'm not a huge fan of the back of it, where it's kind of messy, but I really loved it, and it's very obviously respectful to the original building that it was based off of, and obviously a lot of fun details from the movie. So that's probably what I'll say is the Ghostbusters Firehouse HQ. Um, but yeah, so let's see. I, um, let's see, do I like Jay, Lady Nee asks. I do like Jay, he seems, he's always super funny. I love that he's always kind of nervous and kind of bumbling, especially in this new movie, he seems to be like especially silly that way. So I'm super excited to see what he's going to be like. And I really love the actor that's voicing him. Um, so I'm super excited to see what he'll be like in the movie. And I really like his new design, the new hairpiece is really fun. All right, I gotta kind of concentrate for a half a second. Whenever I do sticker pieces, we talked about this a little bit on the last live stream, I have to be so careful because I get so mad if I ever get them wrong. They have to be like perfectly spaced and perfectly straight. Cause also if I ever do reviews of these sets, you guys are you know seeing them in HD. So if I'm not getting them perfectly perfect, then a lot of you guys might even wonder you know, if I can even put on stickers properly. So I gotta make sure these are perfect. And that is pretty darn good. I don't know if you get too much better than that. All right, let's see. We've got one more of these though. So bear with me while I focus on another sticker. But let's see, I'll answer one of your questions while I'm focusing on this next sticker. So feel free to shoot over another question here. You guys have gone kind of quiet. Uh, Duckman193 uh, asks, do you like the Lego Mixels series? I never got too into Mixels, but I do think that there's a couple fun designs and I really like um, some of the ones that have useful parts. Like I really liked the kind of the TV, like uh, news themed ones. You can use that mix TV print for something good or the drum set with the Mixels, the Mixies uh, drum print. I think those could be useful for other things. So I really like when the, you get some cool prints or accessories or other great pieces that you can use for other builds. And I bought a few of them because of that. Like I bought some of the castle ones because I wanted those brick brick pieces and things like that. Let's see. Tommy Glover asks, am I going to see Justice League in theaters? And yeah, I'm definitely going to see it in theaters. I'm super excited just to see what, how this movie turns out because there's a lot of controversy over them doing reshoots and trying to restructure the film. So I'm very curious to see how it turns out and will it be, uh, be good? So Gabe Silva asks, how many times have I been to San Diego Comic-Con? And if you watched my Comic-Con videos, you know that that was actually the first time I ever went to Comic-Con. So I've been kind of dreaming about it and I've been covering it for the channel for now a couple years. And it was super excited to kind of finally get my shot to ever go to this thing I've been talking about and dreaming about seeing forever. So yeah, it was only my first time, but it might not be my last. <laughs> Extreme Fighter asks, what is my favorite Lego movie? So um, I'm gonna assume you mean the mainline movies, like the ones that are in theaters, versus the ones, those are, there's some nice animated ones that they do. Um, but out of the Lego Batman movie and the Lego movie, even though we had so much fun talking about the Lego Batman movie and I love all the sets and the figures, I'm going to go ahead and say that I think I might have liked the Lego movie just a little bit better. And that's mostly because I thought it was so original. It was such a fun new story that we'd never seen before. Brand new characters that turned out to be just classic and fan favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and say the Lego movie. Hopefully that's not terribly controversial, <laughs> but um, I really loved that movie. <laughs> Tell me if you agree. So uh, see you later, Ryan. Uh, who is your favorite Avenger from Power Gamer? Um, I mean, I love Tony Stark. I think I think Iron Man's probably up. Oh, Aquaman's down again. <laughs> I always knock over minifigures. That's like that's the that's the staple of a Talk Bricks live stream is me knocking over minifigures. So um, yeah, I love Tony Stark. I love Iron Man. I mean, the original Iron Man movie, Iron Man Two, and it's great. Uh, AW Lego Films asks, do you think that this set deserves the seven point arm ripped off ratings? Um, yeah, definitely. This is definitely a seven point arm ripped off, which I guess you can decide if you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I really do like this set so far. 
All right. Mystery Brick asks, "Are am I excited for Avengers Infinity War? And yes, to say the least, I am super excited. So, I mean, listen, we've been watching these Marvel movies for 10 years and we've seen all, we've met all these great characters like Tony Stark, like Captain America, like Thor, like Hulk, all these things. And we're finally getting to see the big culmination of the Thanos storyline that we've been promised for all these years. Yeah, I'm super excited. Wyatt Productions asks, do I want X-Men to come back as sets? And yes, I would love to see some more X-Men. I grew up being a really big X-Men fan, watching a lot of the um, the 90s cartoon. I don't know if any of you guys used to watch that one, but it was such a good show. And there's so many good storylines that I feel like the movies could maybe even do a better job of kind of capturing, but I think getting comic book versions of the sets would be really great. So we'll have to see about, um, you know, the future. And I know it's not, it's certainly not Marvel's top priority to make more Lego Marvel or uh, Lego X-Men sets, but we'll, we'll have to see. I, I don't think it's the end of, Le of Lego X-Men sets, but hopefully we'll see some more. Kiefer asks, how awesome would Fantastic Four sets be? Yeah, those are characters that we've never gotten. And after seeing the, uh, after seeing them in the Lego Marvel Avengers 1 game, that was really a great, um, you know, a great version of all those characters. I would have loved to get them as minifigures. Yeah, we've got some spamming in the chat. So if you wouldn't mind just being respectful to everyone and keeping the chat kind of clean of all that, that'd be really great. So thank you in advance. We're just here to talk bricks together, okay? You know, we don't need any of that. <laughs> Um, well, cool. So let's see. Um, do you think Lego Thanos will return for the new sets? Yeah, absolutely. We're definitely going to get Thanos. I mean, he's such a highlight of the new movie, you know, one of the main kind of draws. So we will certainly get it. Um, so we definitely, oh, wow. I just knocked over the big part and Aquaman. <laughs> I told you, all I do is knock over things in, in my live streams. So, uh, let's see. Do I like Spider-Man 2099? Yeah, I'm actually, oh my gosh, again? <laughs> it's hard because I'm reaching around the camera, guys. In case you're wondering like why I'm so clumsy, it's just because I'm um, reaching around the camera. So um, so Spider-Man 2099 looks great in the new Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 game, and I'm super excited for it. So very, very pumped. All right, let's go ahead and grab the last couple pieces I need, and let's see. All right, I, apparently I'm missing someone's question, so keep uh, keep sending it on my way. What's my least favorite Lego theme? Um, hmm, that's a good question. I mean, my least favorite, the least my least favorite doesn't mean it's not a good theme, but I don't collect any um, of a lot of themes. Like I don't collect any friends. I don't collect any um, what else? I don't collect any Technic. I don't collect any. Um, architecture. Well, actually, I have like one or two architecture sets, but so those, it's not that those aren't my, uh, I don't think those are good lines because I definitely think they are good lines. They're just not my favorites. So I think if you can kind of keep it in perspective that way, then, you know, you know that some of these things are still very good. They're just certainly not my favorites. Let's see. Nope, I was right the first time. Sorry, you got to make sure you're putting these things on correctly. All right. Will I get Lego, oh, let's see, I just missed that comment. Will I get Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 or the Lego Ninjago movie video game? That's a tough question because I'm actually super excited about both games and I do believe that I'm going to try to get both. Um, just, you know, it's so hard to be honest to find time to uh, actually play through them, but I am really super excited about both, so I definitely wanna try. So um, let me know which one of them are you guys most excited about? So let me know, hopefully some good ones. <laughs> All right. Um, Brick Palace says, I love you, Michael. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you guys, uh, like I said, you guys really make this all fun and worth it for me. So thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Let's see. Josh asks, do you like the new Ninjago movie, Bad Guys? And I don't just like them. I actually love them. The Lego Ninjago movie sets are just some of the best. And I'm just super, super pumped. So yeah, needless to say, I'm very excited. I think it's some of the best sets that we've ever had. And hopefully um, we'll get even more and more and more <laughs> like the Lego Batman movie with some really good, um, good stuff to come. I'm super excited. Yeah, and I, I see that we're still having a little bit of a spam problem here in the chat. So like I said, you know, I really appreciate everyone watching and I would hope that um, you guys could just have fun and, and we could, we don't need any of that, so. 
I'll, 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 I'll hopefully, like I said, you guys can take it uh, seriously. And I know most of you guys are being great, so I really appreciate it. All right. Well, we've got another question here in the chat. Um, and let's see. Uh, someone just asked, what's my favorite? I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope uh, you tell me what the rest of that question is, Hardy Home. Let's see. XV Panda X says, what's been your favorite minifigure series? Um, I really loved the one for the Lego Batman movie. I think that was just such a fun one. And so many great minifigure designs and a lot of characters that we that we wouldn't have um, gotten otherwise. You know, if there was no minifigure series, I doubt we would have gotten a lot of those characters. So super, I'm super excited about those. And I was a huge fan. Let's see. What was the first Lego set you ever bought? Hmm. I don't even remember. I mean, I must have been too young to even like have a memory of that. But I'll tell you a story about one of the sets that I bought that I just, it's a story I remember, which is I, when I was growing up, I, there was a, there was a random store near me called the Imaginarium. I don't know if you guys ever had that in your town. And they, um, they, uh, they had the Lego uh, Star Wars episode two sets early. So I was able to get two or three of those sets brand new before they ever came out. So that was like a really fun treat for me just because, you know, even before I was a reviewer, all I wanted to do was get sets early. <laughs> so, oh, I realized I just built this whole thing backwards. Well, luckily, oops, luckily I can just flip it around. Let's go ahead and flip this over. What Lego theme would you like to see from Jordan Wallace? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I think I would like, I don't know, you know, a lot of my favorite things we already have themes of, which is awesome. But I think if I had to pick something, I would say I really would love some DC superhero TV show sets. I know we've talked about this before, but I do feel like that's something that they should just do. I mean, I think it makes sense. There's a huge fan base out there already for it. So hopefully we'll get those sometime in the future. Um, that's at least my opinion. But yeah. All right, I figured out how to fix something in the uh, in the chat. So hopefully that makes things a little bit easier for everyone. So Lady Nee asks, uh, "Do I play Injustice 2? And I don't. So um, I I just I know I never got into it. It's not that it's not a good series, and I know so many of you guys always talk about it, like for Lego Dimensions and such. So uh, I definitely I probably should check it out. I know my friend Nick was super into it, and um, yeah, I, I think that'd be a lot of fun." But I don't really, I don't, I don't play it. Let me know if you guys play it in the chat. All right. Scream007 asks, what's my favorite Lego set? I already said this a little bit earlier in the chat, or in the stream, I should say, but that would be the Ghostbusters Firehouse X, uh, HQ. I just really love that one. I guess if I had to pick another set that I love, um, I really think the Simpsons sets are great. I just think they're super detailed. Um, I guess I shouldn't pick all the biggest sets. <laughs> Let's see. Um, will you ever show us your collection in a video? Comic Boy asks. Honestly, that would probably take such a long time, and I don't even have all of it out. You know, that's the problem. I have a lot of the sets even just broken up and put into bags because, you know, when you have as much as I do over the, all the time I have been, you know, working on Lego stuff, you just, you, you don't have room for it all after a certain point. So, yeah. All right. Uh, do you think that Nexo Knights will be retired soon? Um, yeah, you know, a lot of people have been talking about that. Um, it certainly is successful. It doesn't seem maybe quite as successful as Ninjago. And typically, you know, back in the day, I don't know if, guys, I don't know if you know this, but Lego would retire sets and themes all the time. You know, you'd get it for maybe a year, maybe two years, and then it'd be gone. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that, that we'll see it go. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of... Um, Really great Nexo Night set. So I hope, uh, I sort of hope it doesn't go away forever. All right. Let me just collect all my bonus pieces and put those aside. Oh, almost dropping stuff. All right. Second bag. We're halfway through the set, guys. All right. Um, I forgot who asked it, but somebody just asked about the Condiment King minifigure. And yeah, if the rumors are true, I definitely, definitely am super pumped that that is coming in a set. Because Condiment King, when I saw him in one of the original trailers, I was just so excited. He was just really funny and um, very unique. I never thought we'd be getting that as a minifigure, but um, yeah, I'm super excited. 
All right, what was my favorite Lego Batman movie figure? And my favorite Lego Batman movie figure, uh, we talked about this a little bit earlier, but I think my favorite was Harley Quinn. Um, I really love the original Harley Quinn, um, like just the one that had the jacket, but I also really love the one in the tutu. That was a really good one too. So let's go ahead and build these awesome Atlantean guards. And somebody asked if I had the the Malibu Mansion set, I think from Iron Man 3. And I do have that set. It's bagged up in my closet, which is off to my right here. Um, that was a fun set. I really like play sets versus vehicles. Um, I mean, of course I love vehicles, but I really like when we get a good um, a good one, you know, a good play set. Because I just think it's fun and it's something different. So yeah, I'm a big fan of that set. Let's see. Uh, Waffle Lego Production says he owns all the Iron Man 3 sets. Yeah, I fortunately do too. What Lego Batman Lego what Lego Batmobile would you love to build? Yeah, I said that English really well. Um, <laughs> um, what Lego Bat Batmobile do I want? I mean, I would love to get a lot of the ones from like the classic animated series or um, some of the movies, like some of the older movies, like the Tim Burton Batmobile and some of the others. I just think that would be really fun and Certainly, we haven't gotten a, that in the same, or a Lego version in, the, in that style. So, Henry Vargas asks, do you think we'll get the Ant-Man, a set for Ant-Man and the Wasp? Well, we did get one for Ant-Man. We did get one for Wonder Woman. We're getting, I think, two for Black Panther, and we got two for Thor. So, I would have to guess that we'll get at least one. I think we'll probably only get one, kind of like Doctor Strange. Um, but that's fine by me. As long as we get a Wasp, I'm good. <laughs> All right, let's add these Atlantean guards to my collection of minifigures to knock over. Cause I'm always knocking over figures. Poor Aquaman. Here, I'm gonna move his uh his trident a little bit so that it's easier for him to stand, like as a third leg. Maybe that will help me not knock him over. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Um would I like to see all right, what Lego Justice League member would you like to have their own Lego movie? Hmm. That's a good question. I mean, I think a Flash Lego movie would be pretty fun. I think the Flash is kind of a cheeky character. Um, I think we haven't seen him yet, but I think Green uh, Lantern would make a really fun movie. I think Green Lantern core would look really cool in Lego and there could be some cool cosmic settings. That would be really fun. We haven't seen a lot in space in a Lego movie. So maybe that's my one that I'll say. All right. What, let's see. What's your favorite season of The Flash? I like season two. Yeah, I think season two was really great. This past season was pretty good too, and I'm really excited for season four, so that would be awesome. Uh, Wide Production says they're working on a mock for the Lego Ninjago movie right now. Well, you'll have to send me a picture of it on Twitter. All right, we've got Disney Dan in the chat. What's up, Dan? How's it going? We were just talking on Twitter earlier, but thanks for joining the stream. Um, Brad asks, can you do a studio tour? I would love to do a studio tour once I get a studio. <laughs> I think a lot of people think I like run this big enterprise and I've got all this stuff, but I'm really just running this out of my own house. You know, I'm just kind of doing the best I can with what I've got. So I, I wish I had a ton of stuff to show you guys, but, um, maybe one day, you know, maybe I'll get a fun studio space like Brick Vault or something like that. I think that'd be really fun. So maybe, you know, fingers crossed that this channel will continue to grow and grow and grow and, It'll be great. So that's the that's what I'm hoping. All right, let's see. Would I want the Wave Rider Lego set from Legends of Tomorrow? Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Legends of Tomorrow, and I would love the Wave Rider. I would really love just even a comic book set that's sort of based on it. I'm glad we're getting Firestorm and some other ones, but hopefully we'll see. I would, I would love, I mean, like I said, I would love CW TV show sets. That's just a fact. All right, let's see. What minifigures do you like in the Lego Ninjago movie collectible minifigure series? I think my favorite one is the N-Pop girl. She's got that hair like Harley Quinn, and I just think that's super funny, and I think that one turned out really cool, so I'll probably say that's my one of my favorites. Um, but I really think the whole line is really solid. I mean, more Shark Army characters, I'll take any time, and there's a few, so that's awesome. Wyatt Productions asks, do you hope to continue your channel for as long as possible? Yeah, I mean, certainly, certainly, you know, these things don't last forever, but... I would love it. Let's see. Bob the Awesome Bob says, can you review my set without opening it? Uh, he's, oh, he's got a set from the 80s. Um, I don't know how you properly review a set without opening it, but I've never gotten a set from the 70s, like an old classic space set or something like that. That would be awesome. Um, let's see. 
There's a poly bag from Star Wars Episode Eight. Yeah, I've seen the Walker poly bag, um, and I haven't bought it from eBay. It should be showing up in stores soon, so I might just hold out for it showing up in stores. Flash and Arrow asks, would you want a Marvel minifigure series or a DC minifigure series? I mean, can we not have both? I, I mean, typically, I mean, if Lego is actually going to do a Marvel or a DC minifigure series outside of the Lego Batman movie because it was from the movie, we would probably see one for Marvel too. They never really do anything one without the other, except for Lego Batman movie, of course. So I think if we got it, we would get them for both. So I'm just going to say both. <laughs> Josh asks, did you like the Speed Racers sets? So actually the Speed Racer sets came out when I worked at the Lego store. So I talked about this a little bit on my last stream, but growing up in high school, I worked at my local Lego store and those sets were out actually when I was working. So I was a fan of the sets. There was a ton of stickers. Um, and I honestly, I think it's, a, it's an interesting line to look back at because the sets they make now are obviously so much just more detail, the minifigures are better, and um, so I'd be interested to see if they could ever redo, you know, especially with all the new Speed Champion parts, redo that line, what it would look like, because I think it was a fun line then, but I think it could be even a cooler line today. Um, Benjamin asks, did I see the Ninjago Season 8 clip? So actually, I was in the panel for the LEGO Ninjago TV show at Comic-Con, and I saw that clip live. And let's just say I'm super excited about it. That was actually a really great clip. And I know that some people saw the version they posted on YouTube, which didn't have audio. So make sure you track down the full clip, like the proper one, because it looks really fun. And, and even though it wasn't finalized, I'm really excited with the direction that it's going. All right, Mystery Brick asks, what's your most appreciated set? That's actually a really thoughtful question. Um, my most appreciated set. Um... That's a tough question because I've had so much fun uh, building so many sets and especially a lot of the sets I, gr I grew up with, they really meant something to me. They were fun presents and they kind of come from different memories. Um, like I said, I got those Star Wars sets early. That was a fun memory of mine. But yeah, I don't know. I'd have to think about that a little bit. Electric Man HD asks, what's my most favorite DC movie? Um, are you saying ever or with the current... Uh, the current lineup, um, but I, yeah, I don't know. I, I really liked um, back, you know, The Dark Knight, I think is probably one of the best ones. Um, AWM Films is actually asking if I've seen the Dark Knight trilogy, and of course I've seen the Dark Knight trilogy. I think the Dark Knight itself, though, that movie was just so amazing when it first came out. Like, you know, people who weren't superhero fans were getting really obsessed with the movie because the acting was so good and surprising. Um, and obviously we all miss Heath Ledger and that performance was just so amazing. So, yeah. And I know there was a question earlier if I watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I forgot. A couple people asked it, but I do watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I definitely wasn't... Um, there was a time I was falling out of love with that show, but it came back in a big way. And this past season, the way it ended and everything, I'm super excited to see how it continues. And I think there was a follow-up question of what I like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. sets. And I would like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. sets. Um, so uh, Disney Dan asks, uh, he wants to do some live builds for the Lego Ninjago movie sets. Have I done any of those? Yeah, yeah. I did the um, the street chase set or city chase set. That was really fun. And I did a live build. Yeah, that was the only live build I did from Ninjago movie. But that was, um, it was a fun live build. One of my first one in a long time. Um, Disney Dan, is that an official leather band for the Apple Watch? Now, this is the silicone band, but I do actually have a leather band um, also. <laughs> All right, let's see. If I was a ninja, Juan asks, and wanted to get a power, what would that power be and why would I want to choose it? Hmm. I always think that teleporting would be a really cool one. Um, and obviously we did have some ninja in the TV show that were able of kind of transforming into uh, smoke and that sort of feels like teleporting. But obviously I'd want to be one of the main ninja, so I'd probably choose fire just because I think it would be a pretty rad, a rad power. <laughs> Let's see. We've got another question here in the chat from Power Gamer. What is your favorite Lego Star Wars The Last Jedi set? So yeah, a lot of you guys probably already know that The Last Jedi sets you know, were posted online. There hasn't been an official press release from Lego, and so that's the only reason why I haven't made a video about it. A lot of you guys have been asking like, make a video about this, make a video about this, but I don't wanna get in trouble because I've had some trouble with some copyright issues in the past and I, I wanna be able to make videos for you guys for a long, long time, so yeah. I haven't made a video about it, but my favorite set 
of course, by far, is the Ultimate Collector Series BB-8. It just looks unbelievable, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. I was super sad that I missed out on the Ultimate Collector Series R2-D2, and so this is going to hopefully make up for that. If you guys, if any of you guys have an Ultimate Series R2-D2 that you guys want to sell me, I would really like that. Because <laughs> I really was so sad that I missed out on that one. Let's see. Flash and Arrow asks, which, which Justice League member would I be? Um, I missed the rest of the question, but um, my favorite superhero by far is Superman, so I would want to be Superman. Um, so that's definitely what I would always pick because I was a huge fan of the Smallville TV show. I don't know if you guys ever watched Smallville, and I would love... Um, I would just love to be Superman. His powers are so much fun and flying and... Oh, God. It would just be the best. So let's see what we've got. Um, Lego Lizard asks, what's my favorite Star Wars movie? I mean, I'm partial to a lot of the classics, um, like Empire Strikes Back, and obviously A New Hope is such a classic. I really did love The Force Awakens, though. It sort of, you know, had a lot of those classic Star Wars elements, and it made me really kind of get nostalgic for some of the originals. So I'm really excited with the direction it's going, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do next. AW Lego Films asks, do I have any pets? Uh, and I do not. I don't have any pets, um, but I. a lot of people have told me I should get a dog, but if I had a dog, then I couldn't make as many Lego YouTube videos. So you guys decide, should I get a pet or should I just keep making more videos? I think I know the answer to that. <laughs> all right. Um, what, all right, Why Productions is going to start a review channel for Lego Mox. What advice do I have for you? Um, my advice is just to be patient because your channel is not going to grow overnight. And listen, I may be doing like uh, as well as I am. And, and, and honestly, I still don't even think of myself as like a huge YouTuber. You know, I'm having a ton of fun because you guys make it a ton of fun. And so I'm just having a great time. And, and the growth is really exciting, whatever growth that I do get. But you're going to find that, oh, I'm realizing I missed a couple pieces. Um, you're going to find that it's slow growing, you know, and you've got to be patient and, and understanding that it's not going to start in a day. So that's what, um, that's what I would recommend. All right. Well, we've got Mario Power in the chat. What's up? And he says that he loves this set. Yeah, this is a fun one. And actually, someone in the chat here, Flash and Arrow, you were the one who suggested that I do a live build on this. So you guys can all thank him for the fact that I'm even doing this. Comic Boy says, Talk Bricks is the best Lego YouTuber. Thank you. That means so much to me. So I'm not just reading those comments to toot my own horn. <laughs> All right, a lot of people are saying this. You're one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, you'll be a success soon, dude. Keep up the amazing work. Well, thank you. You guys, like I said, you guys make it fun. If, if it wasn't fun for me, I don't think I would even be doing this. You know, I just, uh, I, I like doing it because you guys make it fun. Benjamin Sagaman asks, how much Ninjago have you watched? And I've actually watched most of it. Um, I'm not 100% caught up, but... I watched a ton of it when I heard about the Lego Ninjago movie coming out because I hadn't really watched much of it up until then, but I really wanted to make sure that I was well versed on it because I knew you guys would be and I knew you guys would call me out if I didn't know certain facts about the Lego Ninjago, you know, franchise. And so I, um, <laughs> sorry, I just saw Disney Dan's comment that I'm his 43rd favorite YouTuber. <laughs> um, so I knew you guys would call me out, and so I had to watch it. There was one person who commented on an old video of mine. He commented on one of my Batman um, trilogy, or Batman trilogy, my Batman Lego Batman trailer breakdowns, and he was like, uh, "You missed the Jade Blade. You clearly don't watch Ninjago." And so I had to prove that I do watch Ninjago and watch all that. So. Yeah, Disney Dan says he's feeling out of touch with the Ninjago series. Yeah, so that's why I had to watch them all, Dan. It's because I didn't want to feel out of touch. All right. Someone says that we, uh, Flash and Arrow says we need the Lego Talk Bricks movie. Yeah, that would be a dream. You keep everyone talk to send those things to uh, Lego that you want me in a movie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, a lot of people are being really nice and saying that I'm one of their favorites. So that's super, super sweet of you guys. Benjamin is obsessed with Ninjago. All right, which characters will we get in the Lego Batman movie minifigure series two? Um, we're still missing a few. We're missing Clock King. We're missing Gentleman Ghost. We're missing, of course, I'm going to forget them. So I'm not going to attempt to remember them all on camera. But yeah, I mean, I'm hoping we're going to get the rest of it. So 
All right, a lot of people are, are heading off, so we'll see you later, and hopefully you can catch up on the rest of this some other time. But yeah, I'm hoping we're gonna get all of the rest of the the villains especially. I mean, there's definitely some heroes and some variations on characters that I would love to see. Like, I'd love to see um, the suits from the end of the movie. More Batman suits would be amazing. So I'm hoping we're going to get the rest of that filled out. So let's see. Um, do I watch Gravity Falls? Um, I've actually never watched the show, but I know a ton of you guys are huge fans because you guys were always recommending that they add that to LEGO Dimensions. A lot of you guys were like, uh, Gravity Falls and Steven Universe and all those sorts of shows. So I know how much you guys love all that. All right. Let's see. Um, a lot of people... All right. A lot of people want me to do a face reveal. So um, maybe I'll have to do that sometime soon. We'll have to see. So stay tuned for that, maybe. Um, let's see. We've got some people asking Marvel or DC. So yeah, that's always a tough question because... I hate that I always I hate that you guys always make me pick. <laughs> All right. Do you watch Rick and Morty? Um, I've seen a few episodes, but it's one of those shows I need to catch up on because everyone's talking about it and I definitely want to catch up on it. All right. Let's see. Thanks for all the effort you put into the news videos and giveaways. You deserve more subscribers from the Brick Sensei. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you for your support. That means everything. We've got, all right, we're, we're getting towards the end of this. So like I said, guys, when I finish with this, we're gonna, I'm going to stick on probably for a little bit longer. So get your questions in now. When can, Disney Dan asks, when can we expect a new Talk Mega Constructs channel? Um, uh, not anytime soon, Dan. Um, I'm a bit of a Lego purist. Um, Armand asks, do I have a Lego Deadpool for sale? I wish I did because I know how much you guys want them. And... You know, it only came out in one set, and that's a tough uh, that's a tough pill to swallow for a lot of people because they they're never going to get the chance to get it at least until they make another set, hopefully with it. So um, I do have one myself, but I don't have one for sale. Let's see, what's your favorite Spider-Man movie out of all six? Um, I think the original Spider-Man Two was just unbelievable, the one with Doc Ock. Um, I see your comment, Dan. Uh, the one with Doc Ock was so great. Um, so I think maybe that one, but I really loved Spider-Man Homecoming. So if you haven't seen Spider-Man Homecoming, I definitely recommend checking it out because that was just so good. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you saw Spider-Man Homecoming. No spoilers. All right, we said Spider-Man 2 is definitely the best. Haven't watched the Andrew Garfield movies. Who was your favorite Spider-Man actor out of the three? That's a tough question. Honestly, I think they're all really good. I think Andrew uh, Garfield kind of got a, a raw deal because I think he wasn't a bad Spider-Man. Maybe a little bit of a too cool Spider-Man because I always think of Spider-Man being a little bit nerdier, but I, I I definitely liked them all. Nathan says his favorite is Tom Holland. I like Bricks 29, saw the movie. Let's see. Do you think Lego, uh, Jake asked, do you think Lego will make the office ideas set? Yeah, I made a video about that and I think it would be really fun. Um, but you know, I, I never would have said they would have made a Lego Big Bang Theory set and then they did. So I never, you never know. Let's see. All right, I'm just putting on another sticker in case you guys are wondering why I'm getting a little bit suspiciously quiet. Cause I always get a little, I just get super scared and doing this on, on TV is going to be really, is, or doing this on YouTube is always extra pressure because I know you guys are just waiting for me to make a sticker-based mistake. You guys are just, but hopefully you guys are cheering me on. I kind of secretly am hoping that each in all of your houses right now, you're like, yeah, go talk bricks, get that sticker straight. <laughs> Let's see. Do you think Lego will ever give up their company? Um, no, never. It's a family-owned business, and it's been that way forever. So, yeah, they're not giving that up. It's also, like, the number one um, toy manufacturer. Epic Amol, thank you so much for cheering me on. I appreciate that. The Brick Sensei hates Lego stickers. Yeah, Lego stickers are tough, but I've gotten pretty good at them over the years. You just got to be pretty patient. And, um, <laughs> oh, everyone's cheering me on now. I really appreciate it. Um, what are those stickers? Atlantis QR codes? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Dan, you're killing it with the jokes. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Let's see. If I could, Jordan asks, if I could have an old set return, what would it be? Um, I talked about from the DC line, I would really love the old Arkham Asylum, the second version. I think that'd be amazing. Um, but 
I don't know, I would love some just classic sets, like some old Blacktron sets and some other things just so people can get the minifigures and kind of experience what it was like to grow up with Lego, especially when I grew up with it or grow up with Lego during the 70s or grow up with Lego during any time. Let's see, a Lego fan production asks, have I seen Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets? And I have not seen it. Um, I didn't, uh, no, no one I am friends with had seen it and recommended it to me, so I haven't seen it yet. But it did look pretty cool. Um, let's see, Boobro69, I'm sorry I haven't replied yet. Hopefully that counts. <laughs> Would you like to see an Iron Spider minifigure in the Infinity War sets? Yeah, hopefully we'll get a new version of Spider-Man. That's, I think that's pretty much a given. You know, if you ever, if you didn't notice, they always, um, change the superheroes' costumes in movies because they want to make new action figures. And so with Lego, it's no different. You know, there's always new suits for the movie and there'll always be new, um, new uh, minifigure designs. So let's see. Would you like to see the Vol uh, Voltron Lego sets? So obviously we're getting the one for Lego Ideas. It looks so unbelievably good. And I hope they stay pretty true to the original design, especially with the size. The size of that set was really, um, you know, impressive. And I hope they'll keep it that big. And I hope it's that good. AWM Lego Films asks, have I seen the movies Now You See Me 1 and 2? Yeah, actually I have seen them and those were pretty fun. Um, I know they did really well overseas and that's why we got the sequel. So um, yeah, those are fun movies. I mean, are they the greatest movies I've ever seen? Like, you know, maybe not, but they're just fun. So yeah. All right. Procraft asks, can I make alternate, alternate, alternate films? Yeah, I can't talk today. Um, I, uh, alternate builds are really hard because you, uh, you have to be pretty clever and you want to try to use all the pieces. And so because I'm working on so many different reviews and news videos and such, I, I think it's better that I stick with the main builds for now. <laughs> what is your favorite Star Wars character from Power Gamer? My favorite Star Wars character, I really love all the droids. I've always been, been a big droid fan, so I'm a huge fan of R2-D2. C-3PO, of course, and, if, and my new favorite is my guy BB-8. I just love BB-8. <laughs> I can't get enough. Jason Momoa saved Aquaman. Yeah, well, we'll have to see how it goes. You know, he's got a, his own movie coming out, and we'll have to see how that one is. Let's see. Um, do you think episode two is better or worse than episode one? Yeah, so a lot of people don't love the original prequels. I think episode two might be slightly better than episode one, just because he's at the age that we see him at for the rest of that prequel trilogy. But, you know, who knows? <laughs> Let's see. So let me pull aside all my extra bricks, snap on the mother box, and we are done. We're done. All right, I'll stay on a little bit and I'll show off the set. Sorry, I just kicked my camera. Let's see. For the next build, it should be a Thor Ragnarok set. Yeah, I really want to build a set for Thor Ragnarok. So, yeah. Let's see. Do I like Stranger Things, someone asked. And yeah, I'm a big fan of Stranger Things and I'm super excited for season two. Can't wait. All right, let's show off a little bit of this set. Flash and Arrow, Deadpool or Wolverine? Oh, that's a tough choice. Um, let's see. We've got uh, the mother box here and this is just like a nice simple build. And it's nice that this is a printed piece. That's amazing. Armand asks, do you think they should do older MCU movie sets as uh, sets from Lego? Yeah, I mean, I'd love to get sets from, um, you know, the original Captain America or the original Thor, but I just don't think they're going to do it. AWM Lego Film says, can you live build some more Ninjago minifigures? Yeah, I'll definitely be doing more Ninjago minifigures. I've just been waiting. I might be buying a, a whole case of minifigures, so stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully that happens soon. Um, let's see. Gabe Silva asks, do you like Black Lightning? So I'm really intrigued for the new show. Um, I wasn't able to go to the panel. I was hoping to at Comic-Con, but I'm super excited um, to see it, uh, see what that looks like. Uh, Flash and Arrow says, I, re I recommended this set to you. Yeah, I shouted you out earlier for that. So thanks again. Let's see. What is your favorite minifigure? Um, I love so many of the newer minifigures, especially the new Wonder Woman figure. I just loved that hair piece at the time and the print is so nice. So yeah, let's see. I, um, all right, let's check out some of these minifigures. We haven't gone over all of them. So we've got Aquaman. He looks pretty tough. Love the gold print. 
I like Bricks29 asks, do you prefer stickers or prints? I prefer prints. Yeah, I think we all prefer prints, especially because I'm very nervous, especially about doing them on camera, the stickers. So yeah. Daryl asks, Destiny's Bounty or Ninjago City? I really love Ninjago City. I think it's one of the greatest sets that I've seen in a long time. But I saw the Destiny's Bounty in store the other day, and it's super impressive. And the Ninjago City set is interesting because it's kind of this amalgamation of everything that we're going to see in the movie. But the Destiny's Bounty is, you know, it's a real build and it's almost just like the one from the film. So I just loved that one. So here we've got the Parademon I've been showing off. So yeah, I think the Destiny's Bounty is certainly on my list of something to get soon. Let's see. Um, we've got, do you like Robin or Batman from Power Gamer? Um, uh, if it's Lego movie, then I like Robin. He's so funny. <laughs> Daniel asks, I wonder if Lego would bring back the retro Batman sets from twenty uh, from 2006. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking for them to bring back those sets. So maybe it's because so many of you guys missed out on it. Um, Peach Lock Cove asks, Batman or Superman? And for me, it's Superman. I've just always been a Superman fan. I've got a bunch of Superman comics on my wall here uh, in my place and because I, I just love Superman. So that's my answer, Superman. Um, Brick Motion asks, what's my favorite robin incarnation yeah there's been so many there's damian wayne there's dick grayson i you know what? i probably don't even know enough to pick one so i'm gonna have to just pass on that one <laughs> all right bob the awesome bob asks can you review the lego dimensions exclusive teen titans go episodes live hmm that'd be pretty cool i have to maybe worry a little bit about copyright but it's in the game so i feel like people do let's plays all the time so maybe we'll try that cxc says do you like red hood yeah red hood's a pretty cool character and um, I, it's funny that we got him in the Lego Batman movie because they didn't really explain um, explain him very much. You know, we, he wasn't one of the villains that got a major moment, um, but he did look very cool in this minifigure series. All right, let's look at these Atlantean guards. Let's see. All right, we've got some Robin fans, Damian Wayne, Jason Todd fans. All right, these are cool. And honestly, I think these like this armor could be used for other things in case you were building your own mocks. But yeah, very cool helmet. I'm a big fan. Reminds me of the old Atlantis sets, if anyone else is feeling that vibe. All right. Uh, we've got, uh, who's your favorite Guardians of the Galaxy minifigure? Hmm, that makes it a tougher question because it's not character anymore. It's minifigure. Um... I think my favorite Guardians of the Galaxy minifigure, I really like the new Yondu. I think it looks just like the actor, which is awesome. Um, I think that, yeah, Yondu is pretty cool. So maybe I'll pick Yondu. All right. So this uh, set, we'll talk a little bit about some of the features. So there's a couple of these pillars here that can be knocked over. So they have these kind of jumper plates and can be knocked over. So there's some play features. There also is a, oops, of course, I knock things over more than even the set does. But um, there is a feature, of course, in this set for the Super Jumper, and I will not be putting this on any minifigure because I don't want to ruin the legs of my minifigures. Um, somebody says, uh, Benjamin says, there's something soothing about Michael's voice. Am I the only one who thinks this? Well, I, 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 you're not the only one who thinks this. My own brother will watch a lot of my videos to kind of help him relax and go to sleep. So you're not the only one, but that's really hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> um, we've got some people agreeing in the chat. <laughs> Which character do I like on the Lego Batman movie? Um, I loved Robin. I just thought he was super funny. And so maybe I'll pick Robin. So we've got the rest of this main build. It's kind of like a gate. We've got this cool printing for the stickers. And we've got some more detail over here. And where did that piece go? A little bit of like coral design back here. And we've got all these different foliage pieces kind of all over the set. Some really great translucent pieces. So yeah, this is a pretty nice set. Like I said, for $20 to get four minifigures, including Aquaman, this is a really nice set. So definitely don't sleep on this one and definitely check it out. Did you like uh, Wonder Woman? Yeah, Wonder Woman is just amazing. The set was pretty nice, not you know incredibly accurate, but yeah, love loved uh, the minifigure especially. All right, Snake Destroyer says, can you please tell me, what is your favorite Lego set? My favorite Lego set, like I said, is the Ghostbusters Firehouse HQ. It's just a fun build, really great figures. So I'll probably say that one for right now. All right, Bob the Awesome Bob's also asking for some alternative builds. Um, I wish I was like clever enough. 
Mystery Brick says, can you please do more reviews? Yeah, I'm hoping to do some more reviews coming up soon. I just got a bunch of the Ninjago movie sets, so I'm hoping to do some reviews there. But you guys seem to really like all my news videos, so that's why I keep making more news videos. I wonder if Lego would update Nightwing. Yeah, I, well, Nightwing from the Lego Batman movie was one of those characters that we didn't get, so I'm hoping we'll eventually get him from the Lego Batman movie. Um, a couple people are suggesting I make some top 10 videos, and I have made um, a couple, so maybe I'll do some more. AWM Lego Films asks, is there a Lego movie you wish would be made? Um, I mean, I think everyone would really wish that a Lego Star Wars movie would be made. I just think it'd be really fun. I mean, we've seen some really good success with the TV shows um, for Star Wars and some of the mini movies, but I think giving it the full kind of stop motion-esque, you know, treatment would be really fun. Let's see. We've got a couple new people to the chat. Welcome. I'm going to be ending this a sort of soon, guys. So get your last minute questions in because I got to work on another trailer breakdown for tomorrow. Let's see. Um, yo, Mike. What's up, Hammer Time Gamer? Uh, the Lego Talk Bricks movie. I'd pay to watch that. Just kidding. <laughs> um, Lego Man 16 asks, can you please tell me what your favorite Marvel movie is? Um, that's a really tough question. Um, I really loved the original Avengers movie. I just thought that was actually a really funny movie. So maybe I'll say that one for right now. Thor or Hulk? Ooh, that's a tough question, especially with their big battle. If you're talking about minifigures slash big figures, I really love the new big fig version of Arena Hulk. So maybe I'll pick Hulk for now. What is your favorite Flash character? Um, I'm assuming you're asking about the TV show, and I really like Cisco. He's probably one of my favorites. Do I like Vixen or Deadpool the Duck? They're both great figures and I'm super lucky to have them. And I'd probably say though, Deadpool Duck is my favorite for right now. Do you want, do I want them to make a Lego Power Rangers set? The, I'm sorry I missed your username, but yeah, super, I would super love that. <laughs> Benjamin asks, am I excited for the Lego UCS Millennium Falcon? Yes, that would be great. <laughs> I'm super excited. The rumors are getting to be real intense. <laughs> Someone asked if uh, I think that the trailers are spoiling too much from the movie for the Lego Ninjago movie. Yeah, I mean, especially there's a couple more trailers I'm working on right now for breakdowns, and they do reveal a lot of interesting details. So, um, you know, they might be revealing a lot of spoilers, but as with most trailers, they could also be misleading. So you never know if we're being tricked into believing one thing, but it's actually going to turn out to be another one. Flash and Arrow says a Lego Hall of Justice set or space station set for space station set for DC. Yeah, I would love that. Epic Gaming Studio HD says, can you please tell me which superhero is the best in your opinion? So yeah, I told you my favorite is Superman, and I do think he's probably one of the best. He has the most, um, the most differ differing powers, the most versatile powers. So yeah, I think he's probably at least up there as one of the top superheroes. Period. But maybe I'm a little biased because I just love Superman. Let's see. We've got some more favorite Ninjago minifigure. I guess maybe I'll pick my favorite from the movie. Uh, my favorite from the movie is probably Garmadon in his pajamas. That would be fun. Uh, we've got some fans here of Ghost Rider and some other ones. Do you think Justice League will be good from Marcus Bricks? Yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be good. I think that they're doing a lot of reshoots right now to hopefully make the movie a little bit better. So that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, do I think that the Lego anniversary sets will include some classic space? Yeah, for sure. Classic space is a beloved theme. It's super recognizable for old fans and new, especially because the Lego movie Benny character. So yeah, we'll definitely get that. Hammer Time Gamer, do I want more Lego Spider-Man? Yes. I'm hoping that for the next Spider-Man movie or for Avengers Infinity War, we'll see more of him. All right, Comic Boy is saying merch shop. Yes, yeah, so I've talked about this on some live streams before, but stay tuned for some Talk Bricks merchandise. I'm just finalizing some things, and hopefully that will be coming soon. But only if you guys want it, really. Let's see. Lego Man 16, I love Talk Bricks videos. They're so awesome. Everything is awesome. Thank you, though. I really appreciate it. Bat Boy Fan Plays says, I want a bigger Batman Batmobile. Well, then you need the ultimate Batmobile. That is the ultimate biggest Batmobile. All right. Favorite food? Um, I really love pizza, and I love hot dogs and pasta. <laughs> Will I ever make a video of me going to the Lego store? Um, actually, maybe. Uh, the problem is that I'm friends with most of the people who work at the Lego store just because I go there so much, and so I probably would end up talking to them <laughs> too much. So we'll have to see. 
Gabe Silva asks, do I like Meowthra from the Lego Ninjago movie? Yeah, the character is going to be interesting. I can't wait to see how they treat it. And you'll see from my upcoming trailer breakdowns, there's even more that we're finding out about the character. So yeah, can't wait. Um, let's see. We've got some other questions in the chat. You guys are asking some really great questions. You're, you're trying to like stump me or make me really think tough and long about what I really believe in about Lego. So I appreciate that. Epic Gaming Studio HD asks, do I like Ghost Rider? Yeah, I really like Ghost Rider. Um, some of the old movies were pretty funny. I love the minifigure that they made. And I really like Ghost Rider on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Let's see. Um, we've got a question. Who is my favorite character from this set? And it would have to be Aquaman. So Aquaman just looks really great. And Jason Momoa is really funny. And I can't wait to see him in this movie. All right. Uh, well, so many like this versus that questions. You guys are always like really um, curious of who would I pick or who would win or all that sort of stuff. Let's see. Do I think they will make a brick built Meowthra? No, I don't think they'll make a brick built Meowthra, but I think that'd be pretty fun. What is my favorite Batman set? I really love the new Bat Batwing set from the Lego Batman movie. So yeah, that's probably my favorite. Let's see. Can I stream set builds daily, Joe Scope 5 asks. Um, I wish I could, but I have I have a full-time job. You know, I have other things I need to do, unfortunately. So I'm going to try to do much more of it because I know you guys like it, and I obviously love talking bricks with you guys. So I hope to do more. All right, guys, I'm probably going to be heading off in just a couple minutes. Just, I know it's been so much fun. I don't want this to end either, but I've got to work on more videos for you guys. It's not like I'm going to just go hang out, you know, or just go to bed. And you know, I'm going to go back to work for you guys. <laughs> Do I like Arrow or Flash? Yeah, I like both of those shows. I really like the Flash, maybe the best. I just think it's super comic booky, super fun. So, yeah. Flash and Arrow says I should release a stream schedule. Yeah, you're probably right, because then maybe more people can show up. So, yeah, it's kind of uh, been just sporadic lately as I'm starting to get my feet wet with it and learn about how to do the live streams even better. So, yeah. But I, I'll hopefully post more of a schedule. Old Lego or newer Lego? Uh, I definitely like newer Lego better. I just think that the builds are more fun. The PC usages are great. The minifigures are better. So, yeah. Um, what do I like most about this set? Um, I'm such a minifigure guy. So, usually I'm always going to say minifigures. But if I couldn't say minifigures, I'd say I really like getting so much sand green. I think it's a unique color for sure. Snake Destroyer, do I wish they made a Lego Power Rangers set? For sure. Power Rangers was a huge part of my childhood and I would love especially some classic Mighty Morphin sets. That'd be amazing. All right. Favorite sport or activity? Um, is building Legos an activity? Does that count? <laughs> do you think we will ever get a Lego Knuckles? Um, I guess never say never. Maybe for the Lego or for the Sonic movie that's coming out, there'll be sets. <laughs> Who knows? But I I don't think it's going to be coming anytime soon. So, unfortunately. Do you think the Nightcrawler is a good set? Yeah, I mean, I think it gets a lot of hate, like you said. Um, but the more I see of it, I'm, I'm going to have to sort of say it's not my favorite. That's why I sort of think this might be my favorite set for the movie. Bat Boy Fan Plays asks, do I have a beard? And actually, I do have a beard right now. So that's a, <laughs> that's a good question, I guess. Lego Netflix Defenders. Um, that would be amazing. Yes, totally. That would be a great, especially getting even comic book versions of Daredevil would be awesome. Let's see. Uh, Lord Vortex Fun Pack. Yeah, I, I, I'm fingers crossed that's still, um, that's still coming. Fingers crossed. It doesn't seem likely. The rumors are saying it's not likely anymore, but fingers crossed for sure. Let's see. Lego Jaws set. Yeah, that'd be fun. Favorite character on Stranger Things. Um, I mean, I love Eleven, of course, um, but I also really like Dustin. <laughs> um, let's see. Am I married? No, I'm not married. <laughs> what do I think about the UCS Falcon set? I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to see it, but I do think it's going to be really big and... Um, it's going to be very expensive. So, I mean, that's like a really good thing because it's going to be super big, but it's a bad thing because it's also going to be kind of expensive. And that was the reason why I never got the last one was because it was too expensive. Let's see. Um, we've got some questions here. Am I friends with Just Too Good? Um, so uh, I guess we're we're kind of like Twitter, Instagram friends. Sometimes uh, we'll comment on each other's stuff and we've talked a little bit, but, um, you know, he's a, he's great and he makes good stuff. So who knows? Maybe one day. 
let's see. Do you like The Office? Yeah, I was a huge fan of The Office. I remember like being so sad when Michael left and oh God, what a great show. Do I recommend getting the Garma Mecha Man set? Yeah, that one's pretty fun. The build in the movie looks unbelievable, and the set is obviously a little bit more scaled down, or quite a bit scaled down, but it's really great. So I, I think it's a fun one. Let's see. Lanterns or Atlanteans in the DC? I'm guessing which one's my favorite? Um, probably Lanterns. I think they're cooler. Um, just because it's fun. Um, let's see what we've got. Uh, did you like Guardians 2, Benjamin asks. And actually... Believe it or not, I haven't seen the movie yet. I know you guys are going to freak out, but that happened when I was recovering from my surgery. So I haven't seen it yet, but I definitely hope to see it soon. Do you think Lego should make a Wayne Manor or a Wayne Tower? Um, I think maybe a Wayne Manor. I think it might be a little bit more fun. And hopefully we'd get a Wayne Manor that connects to a Batcave set, like dual level. Think a Rancor Pit, Jabba's Palace. What do I think about the Garma, Garmadon, Garmadon, Garmadon set being scaled down? So yeah, you probably saw my uh, footage from Comic-Con of that set, and it looked good in person, but I did expect it to be a little bit bigger. So um, it's quite scaled down, but I think it's still going to be fun, and hopefully it'll just at least feel in scale with the rest of the sets. That's what I'm hoping. Will I get the Ninjago City set? I'm definitely going to get it eventually, but it's super expensive, so I might not be getting it right away. Let's see. Do I like the Lego Indiana Jones line? Yeah, I loved Indiana Jones, and I have a handful of those sets, but I would love more of them. So if any of you guys have any extra Indiana Jones sets that you want to sell me, let me know. I feel like I keep asking and begging you guys to help me fill out my collection, so I apologize if it sounds like all I'm doing is asking for old sets. <laughs> Let's see. Would you like to have a custom set by you? Yeah, that would certainly be a dream. Um, I don't know what I would build. Maybe something superheroes themed, probably, but that'd be really fun. But it's hard, you know, Lego Ideas, it's really hard to get all the votes, especially. Least favorite minifigure series? Um, that's a tough question. Um, probably the the football, the German football series, just because obviously they're not super unique. But it's also like one of the two series that I don't have. So I still really want it. So again, if any of my European fans have the German football series, let me know, because I would love to get it. Either that or the Team GB Olympic series. Those are the only two series I don't have. I have every other one. Hammer Time asks, more Scooby-Doo sets? Yeah, I would love that. I was a huge fan of the line, and that the Scooby-Doo sets actually really helped make my start on YouTube, so they have a special place in my heart. Let's see. Um, which is my least favorite fig? Um, it's hard to pick least favorites, especially of all time, so... Uh, maybe give me a theme and I'll try to pick one. Um, yeah, let's see. Of course, Marvel or DC, Hugo asks. Do I want to see a Doctor Who Lego video game? Yeah, I would love that. I'm a big Doctor Who fan, and I'm certainly not all caught up, but I would love that. That'd be super fun. More Back to the Future, Jay Cowell asks. Yes, please. I will I could never get enough Back to the Future sets. I'm a huge fan of the movie, especially one and two, but I would love to get more Back to the Future. So I'm all about it. All right, guys, I'm going to head off in a second, so I'm going to answer just a few more questions. So get your questions in, and then I'm going to unfortunately head off, because i got to make more Talk Bricks videos. Am I excited for the Unikitty show? Yeah, I'm super excited to at least see what it's going to be. Um, I think that we got to give it a chance, because Unikitty was a really fun character, and, um, you know, hopefully they make a fun cartoon out of it. Why not? Let's see. Have I seen the Lego Batman movie, Sam asks. Um, yes, I definitely have seen the Lego Batman movie uh, plenty of times. Let's see. Um, do I like Total Drama Island? I don't know. I'm not sure what you're referencing, so I guess not. Um, Comic Boy says, I feel so honored to talk to Talk Bricks. You made my day. You made my day. <laughs> talk Bricks says, am I getting tired? Or sorry, Hammer Time asks if I'm getting tired. Yeah, I always get tired. It gets late. I need to make videos. You know, I got to take my time to uh, make sure I have a voice left to make sure that I can make more videos for you guys. Have I seen the Ninjago Season 8 trailer? Yeah, I actually saw that originally at Comic-Con. Super excited. Can't wait. What bigger YouTubers do I like? Um... Uh, I'm a fan of so many big YouTubers and even stuff that's not Lego. I mean, I'm big, I like, um, I guess one of my big YouTube channels I like is MKBHD. It's a tech channel. That's a fun one. What movies do you think Lego will make next year? Well, we know about the Billion Brick Race that's coming out. Um, maybe not next year, but maybe in a couple years. And we also have got Lego, uh, the Lego Movie too. So, um, yeah. Gabe Silva asks, do I like Cole? Yeah, of course I like Cole. Why not? <laughs> is there a reason to not like him? He's pretty funny, especially on the TV show. 
Um, but yeah. All right, guys, this seems like a pretty good place to stop. The questions slowed down a little bit. So let's just say my obligatory thank yous. Thank you for tuning in. You guys are the best. I have the best subscribers. This Talk Bricks community is just unbelievable. You guys are super supportive, and we've got a bunch of more Ninjago movie content coming up. Don't forget to enter the San Diego Comic-Con contest. I'll put a link in the description of this video when I can finish editing it um, and adding details, but it's in the description for most of my other videos. So definitely make sure to enter the contest and um, hopefully we'll do more of this soon. So um, so I know some people are just joining, but don't worry guys, we'll do more live streams very soon. You can always go back and watch it. And like I said, thank you guys for making this so much fun. You guys are literally the best. There's some going to be some more videos coming soon. We've got some Lego Ninjago movie. Stay tuned for, um, this is only for the live stream viewers, but stay tuned for some upcoming Talk Bricks merchandise. Some things that you can own that are Talk Bricks themed. So stay tuned for that. Um, and maybe even a future P.O. Box in the future. Because I want to hear from you guys and maybe getting some nice letters or things from you guys would be fun. So definitely some things I'm thinking about in the future. Hopefully the channel continues to grow all with your support. So thanks again. And I'm glad we were able to answer so many questions. And I'm going to head off for now. But I'll be back and we'll talk bricks again soon. Thanks, guys. See ya.